work in a dive shop, you know, a few days a week teaching scuba dive. So. So it sounds like you've always had your hand on, on something or exploring ideas. Where do you think that that comes from? Because that's not, um, you don't always see that. So was this, was, were there people around you that owned their own businesses? Is this something that was just natural in you? You know, I think it was just something that was naturally in me. Uh, my grandfather who raised me had been a, a police officer and a police detective in New York City. Um, my mom was a teacher, so not a very entrepreneurial family. I know one of my great grandfathers who, who died before I was born, um, he kind of had an entrepreneurial streak. So maybe, maybe it's in the DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Got to code it in. Um, what, um, how was school like for you? Cause it sounds like you were interested in a lot of things. I'm thinking that maybe you didn't do that well in school, but I'm not sure. I, I don't want to assume. Is that the case or? You know, when I, when I went to a class, I did well in it, but I got bored real quick and I wound up not going to class a lot. I actually dropped out of school when I was 15 years old. And uh, I jokingly say I'm the, high, I'm, the, I'm the most highly educated high school dropout you'll ever meet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have, a, I have a master's degree now. I have a couple of undergraduate degrees. And uh, so it wasn't that I was against learning, but I didn't work well in a structured environment. I kind of wanted to do things at my own pace and my own speed. And, and uh, um, I, I'm, you know... <laughs> Um, my attention span is not uh, real good. Uh, so I, I tend to chase a lot of squirrels, even in my business life. But, but that really became a problem when I was a kid in school. And, you know, I, I often say that, and, uh, you know, only half joking, but I think if I was a kid in school today, they probably would medicate. Me. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, I think, just having those ideas and being all over the place got me to where I am. So I certainly don't regret it. I had a lot of, uh, uh, I had a lot of great experiences after dropping out and bouncing around. I worked as a mechanic on a formula car race team for a while. I was a firefighter in New York. Um, I, I, you know, got to dabble in all kinds of stuff and, and that in and of itself was an education. Um, I do think today it's amazing the opportunities that kids have for education with things like VLAX and being and homeschooling and just being able to adapt your um, learning environment to what fits you and how you learn. Uh, and I think that was something that was was uh, seriously lacking in my age. Um, I, I remember, matter of fact, I remember going to a teacher. Uh, I was failing an English class, yes, yet I was doing all this creative writing on my own, and I brought her the books, and I said, this is what I'm doing. This is the writing that I'm doing. She said, well, it's not the lesson, so it doesn't count, and I just remember just shaking my head and walking out the door, and I was done at that point. Um, so, you know, um, it all works out, though. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> so, it worked, you know, it worked but, out for you, definitely. I mean, I think that... Um, you know, not everybody has your story. So I'm hoping, you know, we'll discover some of the why behind that in, you know, in, in this conversation for sure, because, uh, you know, I feel that uh, there are some people that do drop out and, you know, they don't get, you know, their, their um, whatever, they don't graduate out of high school, they don't get a degree. And it's almost like they just, they feel bad for themselves and just kind of settle for whatever, some minimum wage job. You know, Manny, I, I think, the, the one factor that was always there, even when I dropped out of school, um, the things I did afterwards, the things that took me through the different career paths I've had that, you know, and the, the reasons that I've gone back to school and I continue now at this age to continue to go back to school is I, I always had a tremendous amount of curiosity. And if there's one factor, that I think you need to have to go through life and, and be successful is you've got to have an innate sense of curiosity. Um, when I left school, it wasn't because I didn't want to learn. It's because I didn't want to learn what they were feeding me. Um, and it wasn't at my pace. So I said, 
You know, I had, I had a guy who said, hey, I need I need somebody to drive around the country and tow my race car around and work on it and set it up in the pits. And I thought, I can learn a lot doing that. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I dropped out of school and got my driver's license. And next thing you know, I'm, I'm towing this race car around. And I, I learned tons of things, you know. Um, Would you but, say that you had a lot of uh, self-confidence? Because uh, I think yeah. that, uh, you know, somebody would, would go through school and see people around them that are doing well and may think, well, there's something wrong with me. But it sounds like in your case, you were like, well, I'm not going to learn this in this way. I don't like this. I'm just going to go try to find my own way somewhere else. Yeah, I would, I would say there was always a certain amount of confidence. Um, and, um, you know, even... I think back to, to job interviews. I mean, jobs that I've interviewed for, I have very rarely not gotten it on the first or second interview. So, um, you know, I was, I was 19 years old and I got hired as a full-time police officer. And I look back, I go, what the heck were they thinking? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even old enough to buy my own bullets. You had to be 21 to buy the bullets. I had to, the, the police chief had to go with me to the supply store to get my ammunition. So, <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I knew what I wanted I, I always knew what I wanted at any given point, and I never let anything stop me from getting it. Um, you know, no is not something that I, I take easily. Uh, somebody <laughs> says no, it just means I have, to, I have to figure out a way to get around them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or over them or through them. <laughs> right. 